Hi everyone, my name is Adam. Today we're talking about new features in Lexia 6. I'll timestamp these in the description below so you can skip to the feature of your interest. Let's get started. Lexia Video Editor comes with a recorder software when you install it, and many of our new features apply to the recorder function. Recording something will result in Lexia Video Editor opening where timeline edits can be made. Recording Duration Navigating to Tools and Options, I can find the General tab. Clicking on General Settings will allow me to adjust the recording duration. Setting a recording duration will stop the recording after exactly the time specified. In this example, 20 minutes. This feature can be toggled on and off. Video Quality Navigating to Recorder Settings, I will find Video Quality underneath the Max Frame Rate Settings. By default, it is set to Better. I can change it to Normal or Best. These changes will affect the overall appearance and output size of my recorded file. Mouse Settings New to Lexia 6 is the Mouse Click Effect, which will appear in your final recorded file. I can add an outline circle or filled circle to my mouse click. I can refine the color of these circles by using the boxes below. Finally, I can make these pop-up effects smaller or larger with this slider. This comes in handy when you want to emphasize the location of your cursor in educational videos. Note that I can also add a left and right sound to the recorded file. Single Input Recordings Notice the check mark next to the Custom Dimensions dropbox. This indicates that my screen will be recorded. Previously, this was non-optional. Now, I can turn off Screen Record to just focus on my microphone settings or system audio, for example. Isolated audio will be produced as an MP3 file, where anything including a screen or webcam will be produced as an MP4 file. Targeted Screen Recording Click the Dimensions drop-down bar to select a wide range of screen size options. Newly added is Select Recording Area, which creates a recording box for you, equal to the selected screen. Here I have a minimized version of ACDC open. I will hover over the corner of ACDC's user interface in order to select for recording. The bounding box appears, and all I need to do is click Record. Auto encoding. Recording now auto encodes as the recording is being made, which means that you no longer need to wait for the recording to produce after stopping the recording. It's much faster overall. New features within the editor itself. Improved timeline operations. The playhead now supports frame by frame movement with the arrow keys, enabling you to be hyper precise when selecting your media. Splitting a clip will select your media after the split. This enables you to continue to edit seamlessly. Note the selected files properties appear, including any effects added, like LUT in this example. LUT Opacity Speaking of LUTs, LUTs now support opacity adjustments. I will drag and drop a LUT from the advanced adjustments onto one of my video clips. Note the properties bar adjusts to include this effect. Slide the opacity up or down after selecting your LUT. Opacity helps gradiate the applied LUT from soft to strong. Timeline markers. Many people requested timeline markers and the Luxia team listened. Use your playhead to determine the location you want to include a timeline marker. I often use them to sync a clip transition with my audio. Here is a spike in my audio. I will click the timeline marker button. Note the blue marker appears on the timeline. Like the playhead and other media files, timeline markers support snapping. Here, I'll snap this media title directly to the left of the timeline marker. Production Assistant. We've added a ton of devices and social media options to the Production Assistant. 
Clicking on Produce and Share will bring up this pop-up. This window allows you to change the dimensions of your final output file. I'll select Android Generic, for example. The resolution, frame rate, and file size will change to accommodate for my selection. Preview Rendering and Sound Reminder. When I produce my file, I will be greeted by an exporting screen that showcases a preview render. It also gives me the option of turning on Sound Reminder. This Sound Reminder may be useful to remind you Luxia is complete, especially with larger exporting jobs. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to be notified when we upload content. And as always, let us know which feature you're looking forward to most in the comment section below. Take care.